Hi, I just wanted to go over what was in a CDA port professional portfolio. So this is the CDA professional portfolio, and on the in the front of the portfolio, you will have you should have a plastic cover in the front of the binder where you can slide. Um, you know, you can make your own up on a computer a cover sheet with your name on it and um that's it really you can put cda professional portfolio of and whatever your name is um you can also add your email address on there if you want to you know just make it look professional next page after oops, let me go back here your CDA professional, after you, when you open it up, this is what you should see. And it will say your CDA professional portfolio, my CDA professional portfolio cover sheet. Then next, this will come out of your competency book, which it is entitled my CDA professional portfolio. It will go into, you know, the plastic covers. You will purchase plastic covers. And if you look closely here, require portfolio items. And it goes down, it tells you like the first one, my CDA professional portfolio cover sheet. Then it goes to a summary of my CDA education cover sheet, followed by all relevant training transcripts, certificates, and official documentation. Then B, you have tabs with a a tab with a b so you have to buy the tabs to go into your portfolio and then family questionnaires and then c reflect the competency statement and on and on and on but this sheet here will come out of your competency book that you need to purchase okay and then at the bottom you assign it i'm not going to show you her initial and on the side, you'll check it to make sure that's ev that you have everything inside of it. I just want to give you a close look at it. But you have to purchase this, this book anyway, the competency book. So you can't get around it. So go ahead and purchase it. And this sheet is in there. Okay. After that, after you turn it over, you'll have a tab, and notice that she has tab A, and behind tab A, she has CDA Professional Portfolio A section. Then behind that, she has a CDA Professional Portfolio Summary of My CDA Education. Then when you flip that over, you have a summary of my CDA education. Yes, it says the same thing as the other one that came out of comp out of the competency book, but it's not the same sheet. As you look down, I want to move this down. I'm covering it with a piece of mail. It will say statements of CDA education compl completion. And these are the subject areas, the CDA subject areas that you have to include in your portfolio. And then you will initial over to the side. And then at the bottom, you will have to sign it with that you attest to it. Okay. After you turn the sheet, she has a CDA professional portfolio, and she have on here her high school diploma or GED, or um, you can have if you went to college, all of that information behind that. Okay, I didn't show you her diploma or anything, but she had her diploma bike behind there. And after that, she has another, another cover sheet which is also in a plastic protector. It says CDA Professional Portfolio. 
documentation of 120 clock hours, no fewer than 10 hours in each content area. Okay. Okay. And this right here, it goes on to show you after that page. You don't have to have this after the page, but some are set up different. But this is the total CDA credit hours completed that's needed. And um, it's the same thing that was on that paper that came out of the conferencing book, which is your CDA subject areas required, a minimum of 10 in each area, planning, safety, you know, going down, so have you. Uh, uh, number seven, observation and recording children's behavior, principle of child development and learning. All of this will need to go inside of that, okay? And this does not necessarily have to be in your portfolio. I also, behind there, she had her training from DCF, children and families, her training from DCF. That adds into her 120 clock areas. And these are the different trainings that she had in there. And that was behind that tab. The next page, she went into the CDA professional portfolio. She typed CDA professional portfolio documentation of work experience. Any work experience that you have had. And yes, she's had one at a daycare. So what she did, she got the daycare to write her a letter how long she was working there. I didn't show you um, what daycare she worked at, but it was a letter. So then after the letter, she have her tab, tab B. And after tab B, she has her CDA professional portfolio, section B. After that came CDA professional portfolio family questionnaire summary sheet. On this summary sheet, it's going to, it comes out of your competency book. Hold on just a minute. It comes out of your competency book and it says family questionnaire summary sheet. And then... Right here, it'll say... I distribute 15, you know, how many ever you distribute to the fam of the family questionnaires and how many you collected back, how many came back to you. And then it talks about your strengths and, um, and your areas of professional growth later on down. Okay. And this comes out of your competency book. The next page after that is your CDA professional portfolio family questionnaires that you received back. She says she distributed 15, she received 10 back. So behind here is, it will show you, let me see if her name, let me go down to the bottom. Here, these are the 10 that she received back and she put it all in one plastic cover sheet, the ones that she received back, okay? Then after that, she has a tab, a tab that says nothing, <laughs> an empty tab, all right? After that, we have CDA Professional Portfolio Section C. And then she starts talking about this behind there, Compensy Standard 1 to establish and maintain a safe, healthy learning environment. And you can type this up on, um, you can make sure it's typed up. It does not have to be on a format like this, but make sure you go through each section. One, safety, a paragraph talking about the safety that you provide for the kids, the healthy, and then a, um, a paragraph about healthy, and then a paragraph about the learning environment that you have put in place or that if that you would like to put in place all right and after that okay not don't pay any attention to this one okay on this paper um it says a sample menu and it goes into um, she talks about that the menu was not provided by her. 
and uh, what she believed that a menu should hold. On this one, sample menu. Okay, don't pay this. This is just a duplicate of this where she's typed it out on here. It was written here, and she typed it out on the other one because it needs to be typed out. Here is the room environment. She talked about how the room um, was not organized by her, but was organized by the learning center. But um, she just goes on and talks about how the room layout is. Here, weekly plan, where um, she talked about how... Um, who makes the who who um makes the weekly plan and you know how she implement them and what's all included on the weekly plan like science reading and so have you then the next sheet after that she have her CPR and first aid because you know you're talking about health and safety here so she'll have a the, um a paper made you can just type CPR and first aid training. And then behind there, she would have that. Okay, I didn't let you see her, her first aid training, but she put it into a plastic paper. And then behind that, she has her weekly menu that is provided behind there. Okay. She did two, two menus, and behind there, she start. She have a page that says weekly lesson plans. Which she has tab D. CD professional portfolio D section. Then, I see she didn't have the weekly lesson plans in there, but that's where you would have put it behind that tab that said weekly lesson plan, that paper. Right here is competency standard two, to advanced physical and intellectual competency. And then it focused on physical, cognitive, the communication, and create and creative, creative. And she broke each one, each section, down creative so you be creative okay this is a one she retyped sorry and then her learning experience Communication and language development. Well, she labels everything. And right here, learning experience. In your words, describe nine learning experience activity that cover each of the following areas. And she went on, she wrote this here. And then she finished on here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we goes on, we keep going, and we get into section E. Section E. CDA Professional Portfolio E Section. Competency standard three to support and to, to support social and emotional development and provide positive guidance, which goes into self, social, and guidance. And she broke it down in a paragraph, three different paragraphs. Okay. She did one on developing children's self concepts. Pay attention to that. Guiding young children's behavior. And then she did development appropriate books. 
which we want to see in your CDA portfolio. Okay. It may not have to be all of this when it was published and everything, but it's good to have the author names and the title of the book. All right. She did a lot of them. You don't need that many of them, but that was good. So she's in section F, which is CDA professional portfolio, F section. Competency standard to establish positive and productive relationship with families and families. And then she did one paragraph on the function area 11 about families, where she believed how family is very important. Okay. Then she talked about the communication with the families. We want to hear that. The awareness of children's home life. It's good to know about that. That's what we can find in any problem areas. Sorry about the lotion showing through. And the family questionnaire feedback. Reflection. That's what she reflected on. Then she goes into the family resource guide. Which is counseling and translation services. Okay. And these, this paper, you don't have to put this paper there. You can um, just throw behind where it said family resource guide. You can have paper with family counseling services. Anything you have to do that will help a family in a community. So if you can print out a paper look like this, this is perfect. Where a family can go and get help, okay? And this is a continued sheet. Then behind here, that's a continued sheet as well. It doesn't have to be this many. You just mainly focus on your community, your area. And this is the translation services one. And she highlighted the one she was dealing with, area she's dealing with. Service of American Sign Language Translation. This is stuff that you can tell your um, parents. For your parents, you know, if they have a problem, they want to know that you know where to go at to get this information for the parent. Children with, you can, then you can type on a paper, children with disabilities, and you don't have to have that on there. And it goes straight into where you can find these different agencies. That's all you're doing, just showing where you can find different agencies. She have it all in West Palm Beach, Jacksonville. You don't even need all of that. You can just, you know, around in your area. Okay. And let's see. Child Development Resources. Three resource articles. And she talked about the healthy children, the conjunctive development, and then she has this printed up offline. Okay. Development Benefits of Play, Children Development Institute. She printed this up offline. Then the next one, Child Guidance and Discipline. Okay. Printed this up offline. Alrighty. We're almost done. I know this is a long video, but hey, you're here for a reason. I hope this helped you out a lot. Then she has um, tab G which goes into CDA Professional Portfolio Section G, which is to ensure a well-run, purposeful, I'm sorry, program that is responsive to participant needs 
and it goes directly to program management. And she did a, a um, paragraph on program management. Excuse me, my son is up. This one made me pause. Hold on. Okay, it's time for us to get ready for school, and he didn't know what to do. All right, so she went into observation tools, importance of observation documentation. You can just type this up in a par one paragraph, two paragraph. You don't even have to have the boxes around there. And accurate ob observation and talk about that. And then the next one, record-keeping forms. And it says, place the three samples of record-keeping forms behind this page. So you can put just record-keeping forms and um, just put behind that sheet um, an accident report form, an emergency form, and a completed observation form that you can get from your daycare or whatever daycare that you use or offline, off the line. And there's her emergency one. And there, this is her preschool observation form. Mm -hmm. The next one, and it doesn't have to be filled out. We just want to see the forms. Is H. CDA professional portfolio. H section. This one is to maintain a commitment of to professionalism. And you start talking about professionalism. And she wrote a paragraph about that. Then you talk early childhood professionalism. Indicators of professionalism. All right, paragraphs about that. Child care regulations. Okay, you do need that after out up under there. And after that, qualification requirements for personnel. And you'll put it, you'll print a copy of the section that describes qualification requirements for personnel. Okay, and a ratio requirement. Oh, the book is about to fall. Florida child care personal requirements on ratios. So you know this is based off of Florida's on. Child care facility fact sheet. You print this offline. The capacity requirements. Print it offline. Early childhood associations. See, all of this is printed offline. Reporting child abuse and neglect. Whatever state you're in. Then here, it has Florida Child Abuse Mandatory Reporting Guidelines. And then this is this was printed offline as well. The two, 2013 Florida Child Care Statutes. And it's all printed offline. Mandatory reporting guidelines. All right. And this is section I, which goes in CDA professional portfolio I section. CDA professional portfolio professional philosophy statement. Professional philosophy statement, and it's typed up. It doesn't have to be typed in a box, but it's typed up. And as long as you want it, it doesn't have to be as real long. It, but just with your professional um, philosophy, how long it is to you. And then the CDA professional portfolio verification visit. Okay, these are extra sheets. I'm sorry. These are just extra sheets back here. But your philosophy will be the last one that you use, which is section H. So... I hope that that helped you out. 
If it did not, I'm very sorry. So I'll see you later.